Well, the pins are falling for the final time tonight at Plainwell Lanes. Since 1947, there's been a bowling alley in Plainwell, but the interest in bowling has slowed, and the cost of operating an alley have gone up to the point where the owner says the business could not be spared. 24 News 8 Steve Kelso spent the day in Plainwell. He joins us now live in studio. Steve. Yeah, good evening. Phil Aru and his family have owned Plainwell Lanes since 1961, but he says he just couldn't keep the business going any longer. About 10 full-time and another 10 part-time employees will be out of a job, and Plainwell bowlers have lost the lanes they've come to feel are their own. I don't know how many times I've done this in 40 years, but... <laughs> Phil Aru is unlocking the doors and opening for business for the very last time. After tonight, the 50-year family business will be no more. Plain Will Ains, Phil. A lot of our bowlers have been here as long as I have, you know. <laughs> and, you know, they all feel like it's their bowling alley, and it is. I'm very sad about this place. I mean, there's not that much stuff in Plain Will to do. I used to come here all the time with my family and my extended family and my cousins. I actually learned how to bowl here. And whenever we'd come here, this place would be completely just packed. But the bowling base is falling off. A recent survey of the more than 3,000 bowling alleys in the United States showed a 3% drop in business in each of the last five years. And it's a trend that's expected to continue. The 70s and 80s, I heard, were the, the house that we own was packed. They had waiting lists all the time for Lee. Matt Snowden and his dad own Sunset Lanes in Allegan. They've stopped by today for one last look, and they both agree the business has gotten tough. When I was growing up, bowling was a popular item. Um, now it just seems like it's gone by the wayside. There's too much computerized electronics out there to keep people at home. The closing leaves Phil Aru with mixed feelings today. He has seen generations of his family and friends come in and out of Plainwell Lanes. But tonight, when the doors are locked for the last time, a lot of his worries will be behind him. Kind of a relief in a way because I've been fighting this for years, you know. A Phil Aru also says that the state smoking ban hurt his bar business at one time. That business made up almost half of his revenues. The building is up for sale, and we'll continue to check to see if someone else tries to make a go of it. Marley?